Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had that annoying situation while you are filling up a long form or maybe reading a document in your Salesforce mobile application and by mistake you triggered that pull to refresh thing? So maybe you are just doing normal scroll or something while filling up some information and by mistake you may trigger that pull to refresh thing and your complete form get reloaded again. So guys, today's video is all about to disable this pull to refresh thing in your Salesforce mobile application. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can disable this pull to refresh thing and how you can make it generic so you can just quickly apply it to any lightning web component. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right guys, let's start today's video. So guys, pull to the Pull to refresh thing has been there for from a long time. Uh, I mean, you can refresh any application using just the pull to refresh functionality. And you can also disable it using some custom CSS and the customization. But recently, Salesforce has introduced a function using which you may just disable this uh, pull to refresh thing. Uh, it is basically a custom event available in JavaScript using which you may just disable this pull to refresh thing in your lightning web component or in your aura component as well but yeah remember that like this is only going to work in your mobile application okay so guys for today's example i will be using one of my existing demos because i'm having a lot of time so i'll be using one of my existing demos to apply that pull to refresh thing and also i will show you the output on my mobile device like how it is uh, if we don't apply this pull to refresh thing and how it is after applying this thing okay so let's start today's video. So let me open the VS code. Here it is. And this is my arc. Okay. So guys, I will be using this example because I thought like this will be a good example to show a different result uh, whenever the page gets loaded. So this is basically a simple example where you can just get a random cat image using fetch API. So if you're looking for this example, so this is already available on, on my YouTube channel and on my blog as well. So just check that out. So in this fetch API guys, so whenever you will refresh the page, so it will just display another uh, cat image, another random cat image. Okay. And now if I will use this application in my mobile device, let me just quickly open the application in my mobile. Okay. And let me start screen sharing. All right, guys, I hope it is visible. So this is the same application in my mobile device. And let's suppose if I will do pull to refresh, then this will be going, this will be going to trigger the same functionality what we were doing by refreshing the browser using F5 or uh, refreshing the URL. So whenever I will do this pull to refresh, it will just display the display a different image of a cat and it will always trigger the connected callback and the whole component life cycle will going to trigger itself again okay so guys to avoid this there's a uh, there's a custom event available now okay so i will show it to you now let me just stop this thing okay so guys for that custom event what you need to do is so let's suppose uh, like this is my component and the get random cat using fetch api so let's suppose if you would like to apply that custom event to this component so what you have to do is you just have to create a function here first let's suppose i name it disable pull to refresh okay then you have to fire a custom event so i'm just firing a custom event let's name it disable refresh new custom event okay and the custom event name is uh, update scroll settings and here you need to pass few parameters as well so the parameters are Okay, so the first parameter is, is pull to refresh. That should be false. 
okay and you have to pass some other values as well like this uh, bubbles will be true and compost will be true as well okay okay let me put a semicolon then this dot this stars dispatch event and then we'll use the event name so this will be the event guys let me save it and to use it you just have to use it like uh, i'm using it on connected callback so whenever my component will load on the dom so it will just disable this pull to refresh thing so you can call this like this okay now let, let me save it and also let me add some uh, changes in the html side also so we can just identify like whether these are the recent changes or not all right guys so it has been deployed yeah and let's see the result here first so it is not going to make any impact on the browser or on the full screen design it will always work in the mobile phone okay so it will only make uh, make it disable i mean this is only available in the mobile device so it is going to make it disable on mobile device only so yep that was thing so let me just quickly log out and log in again in my mobile device so it could just fetch the recent changes okay log out and I'm just entering my username and password. Okay, here's my username and this is my password. Don't worry guys, I'm not sharing my mobile screen right now. If you're thinking like I, I forgot to screen mirror this. So this is my password, okay, login. Okay, I have to verify this thing first, just Give me a second. Okay, verification code has been entered successfully. All right, so. Okay, so I have logged in again. Okay, now let me do the screen mirroring thing again. All right, guys. So I hope you can again see my mobile device. Okay. So now, first thing you will notice here is these uh, three dots we have added on the HTML side just to make sure like we are having the recent changes. Okay. Now, if I will try that pull to request thing, that is not going to work because we have added that custom event that disable pull request thing, disable pull refresh thing. Sorry. So if I will do this, so see the pull to refresh has been disabled here now it is not going to refresh this image whenever i will try to pull it from the top isn't it amazing so guys uh, that is the functionality using which you can just simply disable the pull to refresh thing on your mobile devices and as i said like this is the uh, this is not going to make any impact on the other devices and on your system or maybe any other browser this will be only working in your mobile device so and guys one more thing so like this was just for a single uh, component i would say but what if you are having multiple components and i mean that won't be a good idea to you know uh, put the same code on all the component because see lightning web components are uh, is all about reusability okay so what we can do is we can create a generic component for that because like this pull to refresh thing is only going to modify the component in which we will include the code okay so what we can do is we can create a generic component so let's try that as well okay so let's create a new component and let's name it okay so the component has been created and now what we will do guys we will just 
use this code. In that component here and also we will add the connected callback thing connected callback okay and here we will call this disable pull to refresh okay this component will not be having any HTML uh, because like we don't need any UI here but we need these uh, target metas and these things and let me just quickly copy it to the other one where it is get random catch pull to refresh here it is so and i mean you don't need to expose that component because we'll be using it as a child component in in the specific component or in those component where we don't need that pull to refresh functionality okay now if I will go here and let's suppose if we remove this So now, okay, not from here. So now we can remove this from here. Okay. And uh, we can also remove the connected callback thing. Okay. And what we will do now, we will just use that component as a child component here. So we will do like. Uh, pull to refresh okay let's deploy this and also let's make some changes on the HTML side so now I'm just removing these uh, three dots from here let me push the source again to the org and let's see the output here meanwhile I will just quickly log out and log in in my Salesforce org again okay okay guys I have logged in into my Salesforce or in my mobile device also so you see like this is the recent changes because you 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 are not able to see that those are three full stops here and in my mobile device also let me quickly share the screen now okay stop mirroring oh sorry just a second uh, here it is okay so in my mobile device also guys we are using that same component but this time the code is not on the specific component the code is in a generic component and we can simply include that generic component as a child component in any component where we want to disable that pull to refresh functionality okay so if I will do pull to refresh so that is not going to work here as well because we are using that child component in this parent one to disable that functionality so I believe like this is the best way to use that functionality just to create a gender component in your org and use it like wherever you want okay so that it is for today guys if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome and if you need the complete code all guys so you may just directly go to my blog which is salesforcepole.com and check it out there as well all right so I'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching